Hello and welcome to another intro to programming tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to help you solve the assignment problem where you need to calculate the difference of current year and the year of birth. As the problem that I gave you originally was to write a pseudocode to accept person's year of birth and the current year and then take the difference between the current year and the year of birth and I ask you to take a positive difference so that you subtract from the current year the year of birth. So, you're going to be taking four digit long years so that the difference comes out to be positive. If you only take 84 of 1984 and 14 of 2014, you won't be able to get the correct difference. That's why I would want you to be taking four digit long year of birth and four digit long current year and then take the difference of the two. So this is basically the business problem that we're going to be solving today. So step number one is to write the pseudocode. Now if we go back to looking at the problem statement, it is asking for two kinds of inputs from user, current year and year of birth. So if I were to solve this problem using variables, I will going to need one variable for current year and one variable for year of birth. Then I need another variable that will going to hold the difference of the two. So in total, I will going to need three variables. So let's make an IPO list, for example. So I'm going to add a slide here called IPO, which is input, process, and output. So in my input, I will going to need two sets of input variables, which will going to be my current year and my birth year. Those are the two inputs I have. Then as my output, I need to have their difference. Difference. That's basically my output. And my process will be to calculate the difference of current year and birth year. So that basically is my IPO for this particular example. So now let's go and visit our pseudocode. Now in the pseudocode, just like flowchart, I'm going to do my start and stop logic here just so that I know that this is my start and stop of my logic. Now I need total of three variables. Two of them will going to be used for input and two of them will going to be used for out. One of them will be used for output. So here I will going to declare, which is because all pseudocode statements must start with action verbs. I will going to start with a declare statement and I'll have my current year. Now remember that you can't have spaces in the names of the variables, so that's why it has to be written as one word. And I'm camel casing my words. And here's my birth year. Okay, both of those variables need to be declared alongside the difference. So I'm going to be declaring these three variables. Current year, birth year, and difference. Now, as we learned in the earlier tutorials, that now you also need to declare the variables with data types. So current year, birth year, and difference. All three of them will be integers. So we will going to say declare integer, current year, birth year, difference. Now, the next step is to pretty much take an input from user. Input basically is the combination of a statement and an input statement, a statement which pretty much is a display statement which is asking user what you want to input. Together it's called prompt. So display enter year of birth or birth year, how you want to do it, and then input birth year. Then I will going to copy and paste the statement right below. And we will going to call this next statement enter current year. I'll just change my statement right here. So enter birth year and enter current year. So those are the two statements. And of course, I'm going to be changing my second variable input to current year variable. So I am accepting birth year and I'm accepting current year. So those are the two sets of inputs. Now I need to calculate my output. So in order to calculate this output, I will going to write my statement set, which is a pseudocode statement set. And now we're going to be taking the difference. Difference equals current year 
minus birth year. So we're going to take the difference of the two, the current year and the birth year. Let me just increase the size of this just so that you can see it just a little bit better. I'm going to move things around. And basically, uh, let me go about bringing the background, sorry. So here I have the same text a little bit larger. So now we have declared a couple of variables. We have accepted both inputs. We have calculated the difference. Now it is time to display the output. So now we're going to be saying display you are and then followed by a concatenation operator which I could use this one or since I'll be coding in my VB so I could use that operator as a concatenation operator you are these many years old so that will going to be my successful output so here's my input here's my process and here's my output so this is for the pseudocode now let's take the pseudocode and let's write the graphical user interface application on the pseudocode so to do that we will going to open Microsoft Visual Studio and we're going to be using the form here and let me give this form a name let's call this one age form and let me click OK you can call it something else like assignment A or assignment A age I'm not limiting you to calling it something of my choice now at this point right now we will going to be first of all accepting the input from user through uh, the labels and the text boxes Labels are extremely important because they will going to be telling user what to input in the respective text boxes. So I'm going to be bringing my labels now. So here's my third label. So I have three labels. Two labels will going to be for the input and one label will going to be for the output. And here's my button. And I'm going to be now bringing my text boxes. So I have a text box here that will going to be accepting uh, the birth year. Then I have another text box that will going to be accepting the current uh, the uh, current year, and then I'm going to have another text box which will actually going to display the age. Now here is my output. So now I'm going to pretty much select all the objects that I have, and I want to increase their font size. Something that we have done in the past. So just so that we can actually see it again. How do you go about changing the font color? I select a font size. I selected all my objects and I'm changing it to font size 12. And you can see that how everything got increased in size. And so did my button. I'm going to increase the height, change things about like this. Okay. Now, here I'm going to be changing my labels. And my labels will going to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to be moving my text boxes around so that I could easily fit my labels, which will going to be little bit longer than what they are right now so I'll be scrolling down to the text property and then this is where I will going to be changing the text here to birth year and then I'll be changing this text to current year and then I will going to be changing the third one to age and I'm going to be changing the text on the button to calculate age now we will going to name each one of our text boxes so I will going to call the first text box txt birth year I'm going to call my second text box txt current year and then I'm going to be calling my last text box as txt age and I'm going to now double click on the button and this is where I'm going to be writing my code so now I will going to be now converting my pseudocode into my VB code now in my pseudocode I wrote this statement 
declare these three variables. So I'm going to just simply grab the statement and I'm going to just bring it over here in my code and I'll put it in the comment area just so that you could see that this is the statement I will now going to be converting in an equal in VB statement. So the word declare in VB gets converted to the word dim. Now in VB you will going to first list all three of your variables and then you will going to be using the word as followed by the data type. So VB takes a little bit of a different approach than the pseudocode. Declare gets converted into dim. You'll list all three of your variables and then instead of writing integer which is the data type right next to declare you rather move it towards the end with an addition of the word as. Now let's get to the next part. In the pseudocode we actually said that display enter birth year and input birth year. We, this is happening on a GUI form for us. Similarly, this is also happening on a GUI form for us. So what we're going to do is we will going to grab the data that's been entered by the user in the GUI form, uh, which is graphical user interface form, and we're going to bring it into our local variables. Then we're going to be using the local variables to calculate the difference. So let's first bring the data from the respective text boxes into the respective variables. So I have a current year variable which will going to receive the text from txt current year dot text. Then I have a variable called birth year which will going to receive from txt birth year dot text. So now I have been able to successfully move my content from the text property of the text box into the respective variables. Now we will going to take the pseudocode statement that we wrote earlier on, which is to calculate the difference. Now this statement in VB will going to be translated as without the word set, everything else. Everything else except for the word set. So this will going to be the VB equivalent of that pseudocode statement. And finally, there's a display statement in VB which uh, in, in pseudocode I mean which will going to now be equivalent in this GUI version like this text age dot text equals to and then you take the difference so it's a age equals 34 and I can basically concatenate here the word years that will gonna go right in the text box so now when I run this program oh I need to fix one error here in the code which is the difference of current year and birth year, which we're going to be doing just right now. Actually, when I copy pasted the minus sign from uh, PowerPoint, it did not convert it to a minus sign. It just was treated as in ha hash. So I should try to basically delete it and rewrote that minus sign that it is. You can see the difference between the length of the minus sign that was copied from PowerPoint and the length of the minus sign that we have uh, written in VB. So anyway, so after this little quick fix, we were able to, now we can run this program. And here it gives us the box to enter birth year. Let's say the birth year was of an individual is 1980 and the current year is 2014. So the difference should be 34. As I hit calculate, it says 34 years. So that's basically the GUI solution to this problem. Now what we're gonna do is we will going to now do the other which is the console solution so just what I'm gonna do is I'll just copy this whole thing I'm selecting it I'm going to the edit menu and copy just so that you can see what GUI code gets translated to what console code so now I'm going to create a new project here file new project and we will going to now pretty much go to Windows console application we're gonna call this one console age app and this will going to give us the main module and let me maximize here okay now just like pseudocode for the um, first problem was declare integer current year birth year difference and the VB code was dim current year comma birth year comma differences integer that piece will gonna remain exactly the same these two statements that were actually done in in um, your GUI environment will not going to exist anymore because now console application is rather a more clear translation of pseudocode than the GUI environment so I'm not going to be needing these two statements 
And similarly, we're not going to be needing this statement either. Rather, we're going to be displaying directly our pseudocode statement. Let me grab the pseudocode statements real quick here. So I'm going to grab this, these display statements from pseudocode. And let me take these two statements and bring it in my code. And then we're going to learn how you can pretty much go about translating them into their equivalent VB statements. So let me first put comments around them so that you can learn the transition here. Okay, so we wrote this statement in pseudocode that was translated to this statement in VB. Now let's write the next set of instructions. System dot console dot write not write line because I want my message and my prompt to be on the same line so now what we're gonna do is once we have written this we're going to now, now write our message on system dot console to write that enter birth here so this is basically my console statement similarly now we're gonna go about accepting the input from user so so now what we're going to do is we have a variable called birth year, okay. Now there are multiple ways of writing the pseudocode which I have written over here. Some people may write the pseudocode like this. And the alternate approach of writing the pseudocode could be input birth year. But at no point you will going to enclose birth year in double quotes. The reason you will not get enclose uh, birth year in double quotes because whatever goes in double quotes actually is going on in, on the screen as it is. You rather want the incoming value to be stored in birth year and then you want to use that value later on your code. So that is why we're going to actually accept an input from user. So now the input is accepted from user using system.console.read instead of write we use read line. However, the read line is of type string and the birth year is of type integer. That is why we need to perform this quick conversion. That take the input from the user and convert it into an integer and then store it in birth year. That's exactly what we're going to go as our second output here. So enter current year. So enter current year. And then instead of birth year, my variable will going to be current year system.console.readline and then the difference will be calculated exactly the same way and now I'm going to display my output which will be system.console.writeline and now I will going to display my output exactly this this way here the way it is right now over here so I'll just take the statement and I'm, I'm copying it and pasting it right in VB so here I have you are difference years old. So now let's try to run this program. So when I try to run this program, of course, um, I should have actually hit Control F5 so that my output screen will stay instead of hitting F5. So now it says enter birth here, which is basically running these two lines. Enter birth here, and now notice the insertion point is blinking right in front of the line because of the right. If I would have written right line, the insertion point point would actually be blink blinking on the next line. So now I'm going to enter, okay, the birth year is 1980, press enter. So now I'm down here, which is to accept the current year. So now the current year is 2014. As I press enter, what we're going to do is it will going to go and calculate the difference of the two years and should display me this output that you are these many years old. So now let's try to do that. Let's try to press, press enter and it says you are 34 years old. So that's basically is the output that's coming out of the last line. So this is successful writing of the pseudocode, uh, converting that into its equivalent um, GUI code and then writing an equivalent console code. Now one last thing, let's go back here. So input birth year, input current year. Okay, that's basically how we wrote our pseudocode. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.